this piece actually came out of the influence of a site that's related to a culture that existed before the Ho-Chunk did. And on, upon entering, you could see where the archaeologists had removed a tremendous amount and leaving only the skeletal forms uh, on sand pedestals. And it was such a striking uh, visual moment as well as, for me, a very touching, a very strong, powerful moment that uh, I just had to do something that made reference to that. I, I think there was a real rush of uh, memories, you know. All the stories that my grandfather told me, my parents told me, other elders, uh, all of that just really came rushing through. And I think that was, that was a particular power of that viewing. It's actually brown wrapping paper on willow covered with uh, wax, hot wax just brushed on it. So it's really simple. It's not complicated. And, uh, but I think visually, the effect is devoid of any kind of emotion. The audience, whoever enters the museum, I want them to be comfortable with the fact that those objects that are contemporary, uh, that are new, more recent, they're equally as alive as the historic objects. Live meaning they're full of information. The culture continues to live and thrive and culminates in exhibits like this.